You know what happens when you insult your fellow colony mate of, I don't know, one time too many? Yeah, you get beaten to death. <laughs> ah, man. Don't mess with Angie. I mean, let me just show you here. Don't mess with Angie. I don't know what she did, but she, um, she beat the crap out of Porter. <laughs> I'm guessing she used her, the butt of her gun to do it. I don't know, but, oh man, that was hilarious. Uh, that was a good episode. If you missed the last one, you owe it to yourself to go watch it. It was a good one. <laughs> I just spoiled what happened, but you know what? You probably figured out by now that something's different at the very least. So, oh yeah, that was the, that was good stuff right there. We do need to let them finish working on that stuff. I want to create, uh, we need to do a new area here. We're going to do a new animal area. So this will be animal area two. And we're going to rename this to, um, I guess we're gonna call it turkey coop. That's going to be the plan for this one. So the turkey coop, and I gotta remember how to do this now. Uh, turkey coop, I think I need to do a zone. Is that what I do? And then I need to grab turkey coop and then do that. There we go. So that is our new turkey coop. So we built that one on the last episode. And yeah, here's our, not our turkey, but we do have some turkeys. We're going to have a bit of a problem here now that we're down to two people. On the one hand, it works out well in that, um, well, you know, we don't really have to worry about, oh, I don't know, going through as much food, that sort of thing. But, um... It's also a little problematic. Ah, oh, man. I'm just gonna, for giggles here, put some granite stuff in place just so there are some granite doorsteps. And uh, that'll be fine. Crest of this is all smooth, I think. I don't think that's smooth. Let's go ahead and smooth that too. Whatever, why not, right? Right. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with only two people. We originally started this series with only one, so I guess two is not all that far from it. Um, what is that? Winter has begun. Ah, yeah. Uh, we probably need to put, hmm. I'm a little worried about these guys freezing. We might need to keep them indoors. And then I don't know how to, I don't know if someone will take care of feeding them or what. Because it is cold outside. I don't know if they actually will end up freezing to death. I don't know how that works. Not really sure how some of the animal stuff works in this game. Clearly the boom rat likes that box right there. I feel like I should make a couple more boxes, but I guess the turkeys are too big to use them or they would. Cougar is um, sleeping in the freezer. That's awkward. So is the turkey, the other turkey. I wonder if the cougar is going to drink the milk. That'd be kind of hilarious. Yeah, it kind of stinks. We lost Porter. Porter was kind of our uh, go-to for everything animal related. Porter was pretty awesome for that, I totally admit. I went and turned the lynx off so that we're not trying to tame the lynx anymore. Because uh, these guys just aren't going to have the time to do that. I, In fact, I need to just let them research for a while. That's what I really need to do. But the problem is then I give them things like this to do. Like, hey, go smooth some floors for me. Oh, man. I guess technically Engie, you know, kind of started this on her own, so she doesn't really need anyone else. How are you doing, Kilt? Um, yeah, you're, you're not very happy about a lot of things here, are you? Yeah, your ally was beaten to death by your other ally. Well, that expires soon, at least. Oh, those will expire soon, too. Actually, you know what? You'll probably be okay. I kind of want you to... I don't know, um, where are you? Where did you go? You're cleaning dirt. Can I? I can't make you have fun. That's kind of a shame. Can I? No, really can't? Ah, that's kind of a shame. All right, well, whatever. You'll either break and go crazy or you won't. How are you doing? Let's just, let's just make sure you're not about to go nuts. Uh, you're slowly getting there. Oh, uh, yeah. This stuff needs to wear off quickly here. It's not wearing off quickly enough. Starts expiring soon. That's going to help out a little bit. Tattered apparel. I'm not really going to be able to do anything about that. Oh. Where did you go? 
Where are you, kilt? Oh, now you're you're cleaning in there. Okay, good job. Whatever. How is you? How is you? How is you doing on health and stuff? Okay. Yeah, you're getting ready to go nuts. I know you are. There you go. Play some horseshoes, darn it. Get happy. Happify yourself. There you go. Tons of joy. Keep doing it, buddy. I want you to make it through without falling apart. That would be a good thing. I don't know that we're going to have enough food for winter now. <laughs> uh, these are going to all probably spoil. That's kind of my my suspicion here. I don't know. Should we give Kilt... Um, let's give Kilt this room over here. We'll give you that one. So we're going to set the owner to Kilt. You can have Porter's old room. I think you'll be happier over there because you'll be kind of by your own. You don't really have to, you know, worry about anyone disturbing you, that sort of thing. I think that'll be good. All right. I'm just, I'm really watching him because I don't want him to go bonkers on anyone and uh, that'd be bad. I am a little concerned about food. We might have to go do a little hunting here. Um, yeah, that this is not really looking good. This stuff is, man, the rice never did grow, did it? Crud. I don't know, it might grow a little bit. It might end up growing enough before... I don't know, I just, it's hard to say. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Let them go to bed. I suspect it won't be too long before we have something like... Um, oh, look at that. Turkey's in the turkey coop. Except it's uh, cold in there. Yeah, we need a heater in there. How are we doing on power? Looks like that's kind of holding steady, actually. There we go. I was going to say it should start dropping momentarily. There it is. There we go. So we're actually doing okay on the power front. I kind of feel like we should go ahead and put a heater in there. I don't honestly know if it matters to have some of this stuff in there for the animals specifically. So, um, I don't know. Let's run power through the wall, and then we'll just connect it to the light. And then I think that might actually need to be connected that way. There we go. Oh, we're going to be raided. Pirates from the Triumph Pack. Well, good. It's actually kind of a good thing. Oh, you have a shield. And a Plasteel Gladius. Let's see. I think that's what that means. Yeah, personal shield. Um... Pistol, survival rifle, and a shotgun. Just out of curiosity, a uh, teetotaler. Hmm. I actually wouldn't mind that character. A hard worker and an optimist. That's kind of ideal. Teetotaler, nudist, lazy, cold tolerant, chemical interest. Nope, chemical interest, don't care. Heat tolerant, ascetic, and psychically dull. That's not bad either. So. Alright, kilt. What are you equipped with at the moment? I think you have something like a plasteel. You, yeah, you have a plasteel knife. I'm kind of tempted to give you the superior wooden club in the hopes that you can knock someone out with it and not um, totally cut them up, but we might just risk using the knife and letting you knife someone. I think I'm okay with risking that. It's going to be a four versus two. That's kind of the standard raid these days. That's just kind of how it goes. Um, you know what we didn't do? Since Porter died, we don't have a master for anyone. So, uh, yeah, you guys aren't going to have a master. So never mind that. We don't have anyone who can do it. No choice. I hope they don't kill our boom rat because that would be really, really inconvenient. Kaboom. You know what I mean? That'd be bad. That would be bad. I'm just kind of waiting for the raid to start at this point, and then I'll I'll move them into various positions. There we go. So they are making their attack run. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get everyone into place. So we're going to go ahead and draft you and draft you, Kilt. Let's have Kilt go right there, and then Engie, where are you? Let's have Engi go right there. OK, 
Okay, that's going to be a good spot for Angie Kilt. Let's go ahead and have you move up. Now, I gotta remember here which one. I liked the look of Ivia, Ivia, and I don't think it was Earth that I liked. Oh no, it was Earth. Uh, Earth, what are you wearing? A shotgun. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go nice and slow here. Kilt, I'm actually gonna back you up now. Let's have you back up. Oh, Lilith, I think, got shot in the head. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, you're you're about to go down. You're dead. Or severely injured. That one's not really going to be worth keeping. I want you to back up a little for me. I want you to be safe. Okay, that's going to be a problem now. Go attack Earth. And then, um... Crap, they're going to attack the cat, aren't they? That shield is kind of a pain in the butt, too. Because she's going to end up getting... Oh, man, you have a Gladius? Crap, you have a good one too. Um, Cat, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take the the brunt of the attack there, I think. Ah crap. Get up close, Kilt! Alright, here. Melee attack. I don't know, are you are you getting injured? I don't remember how this works. Ah crap! No! <laughs> ah, Crap. Well, you're messing with the cat. Good job, cat. Um, too bad the cat can't do anything. Ah, oh, man. How are you doing? You are messed up. Poor kitty. Poor kitty's all messed up. Oh, we got a fire going on, too. <laughs> ah. Well, sadly, um... I think imminent disaster has reached imminent disaster. I knew that was bad going up against a Gladius. I knew that was just a bad move. I thought Kilt might actually be able to hang. Uh, that's a shame. Oh, he got his hand shot off. Probably dropped his knife because of that. Well, Kilt, you're about to burn. Yeah, I know, you're burning. I'm sorry, it sucks for you, buddy. You are on fire. Well, it should happen that way. Engie should be the last to die, since uh, she was the first. Ah, oh, man. Good times. Good times on RimWorld. <laughs> oh, I just love it. You never know what sort of crap is going to happen. It's just great. I can't fast forward because um, Kilt is slowly dying. But we're going to go ahead and call it a series right there. These guys are done. Um, I think I might come back for one more, a different... Maybe a different scenario, a different something else going on. Oh, Kilt is toast. All right, we can we can increase the game speed again. And, uh, well, all these animals, I feel like I should, before I die here, unrestrict everything so you can go, you know, graze and get food and survive without these horrible colonists that couldn't keep you alive. So, anyway, we might start over on a new one. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It just depends on... Uh, Oh, an escape pod. Oh, a, an Atengi's brother. <laughs> Kiyoshi. Oh, it sucks for you. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh, man, this guy. Oh, an annoying voice. <laughs> ah, man. Love it. Just love it. Anyway, uh, we're wrapping Imminent Disaster up. We're calling that done for this one. Like I said, we might be back with another series with uh, a different scenario. I'm not 100% sure yet. It depends. I need to take a look at where things are. But anyway, this one's been a blast. I love this game so much, just in case you didn't know already. Everyone's dead. Story is over, and uh, so is the episode. So I'll catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.